Yo, what up Grind Time Nation? Welcome to the very first episode ever of Grind Time TV. You know, the reason I decided to start this TV show, this online TV show, is that I just got sick of writing all the emails and a lot of players, you know, they're not motivated just by a bunch of words on paper. Anyone can write words on paper. You need to hear, you need to see, you need to feel. And that's what I hope I can kind of give you in these episodes of Grind Time TV. My goal with this is literally just to keep you going every single day at 100%. You know, a lot of players out there don't have a coach who can motivate them and can push them and can keep them on the right path every single day. So if you don't have that coach out there, that's my goal. I want to be that coach for you. So the way I plan on doing this, and of course things can change in basketball and life, you always need to be adapting. So, you know, this might change, but what I'm planning is to do an episode every morning and an episode every afternoon. In the morning episode, I want to give you a success story. I want to give you some story, something that's going to give you something you can feed off of when you go to the gym later that day and you can kick someone's ass feeding off that motivation and that story. Later in the day, I want to bring you something a little different. I'm calling it trending talk, I guess, for now. But what it's going to be is basically I'm going to be breaking down something that's going on in the NBA, in college basketball, something like that. But more importantly, it's something that you can use immediately in your game, something you can learn from, from one of these players who are playing at a level that you probably want to be playing at in a year or two or three or whatever. And I kind of want to break down something that they're doing, you know, right or wrong. We're going to look at both and give that information to you as well. So first episode today, I have an awesome success story I wanna share with you, okay? It comes from Kobe Moulton, who is the father of Mitch Moulton, um, basketball player, and he wrote to me, you're gonna really like this, this is a really cool story, so check this out. He says, hey Alex, we received the unguardable. Very cool, I love people who buy unguardable. Uh -huh. He goes, Mitch man, my son could hardly wait to get to the gym. He spent five hours at the gym perfecting each move, both left and right, paying special attention to eye movement and timing. As you know how often I talk about the importance of eye movement in the game of basketball. So he says the high school state playoffs are now over, so he's playing games with town team basketball with 25 to 35 year old guys. In the very first game, he scored 52 points. Not bad for a 15 year old, and yeah, you're right, I would probably agree with that. He's picked up a couple of the moves off the dribble from Unguardable, as you suggested, and just flat out blew by his defender. P.S. Mitch Mann is a definite grind time player. His bus got back from the state playoffs at 1.30 a.m. Season was over, and he was at the gym the next morning at 6 a.m. As the AAU rolls around, we'll get you some video. Thanks again, Kobe and Mitch Moulton. So first of all, I am proud. I am so proud of a kid like this. And yeah, scoring 52 points is awesome. Spending five hours immediately after going through Unguardable to learn and practice and master these off the dribble moves is awesome. But the most important part that you can take from this, that you can learn from this is, I want you to think about this, okay? He's driving back from the end of his high school season. The state playoffs are over. His team just lost. Everyone's probably really dejected on that bus. Coaches are probably quiet. A lot of the players are probably quiet. Everyone's, there's a lot of uncertainty. No one you know, really knows what's going to go on during the summer for the senior guys. That might have been their last game ever for the guys who aren't going to be playing college basketball. And he's on the bus probably mapping out what he's going to do tomorrow to get himself better. The very next day after his season ended, he's already mapping out what he's going to be doing. And he's not just mapping it out. He woke up four or five hours after, six in the morning, to get to the gym and to practice these moves and to master these moves. If that's not grind time, you know, I don't know what is. And FYI, I kind of know what grind time is. So that is just remarkable to me. And there's a reason he's scoring 52 points in these games. There's a reason he's doing it at 15 years old. It's because he does things like this. So I want you to ask yourself today, are you doing things like Mitch is doing? Are you really staying grind time and going grind time every single day, pushing yourself to that next level, pushing yourself to get better every single day, even after some of the lowest points in your basketball career? Because I gotta tell you, losing in the state playoffs is one of the low points in your career, and it's gonna happen. Only one team wins the state championship, so those things are bound to happen. And the question is, in those times of pain and struggle, how are you going to handle it? Are you gonna bow down? Are you going to get dejected? Are you going to stay quiet? Are you going to be like Mitch? Are you going to be grind time? Are you going to be pushing yourself to make sure something that low never happens again to you? So that'll do it for today's first 
episode. Um, I will be back later today for episode number two. Like I said, my goal for you is to get you two episodes every single day. We're gonna come back with trending talk. Like I said, I got something I wanna say about that St. Mary's Gonzaga game, that West Coast Conference Championship game. So I will see you later today. Be sure to tune in. And as always, remember, they can't stop you. They never could. I'll see you later today. Peace.